today we are going to talk about automatic blader now first of all what is automatic blader is the name suggest it is automatic so basically automatic blader is a blader which is out of control or in which uh, the micturition reflex is occurring automatically without the control of patient why automatic blader occurs automatic blader occurs when there is injury of the spinal cord there is injury of spinal cord but the sacral segment is intact for example there is injury of the lumbar region this region or above the lumbar region but this sacral segment is intact now to understand the automatic bladder we must uh, summarize the micturition reflex and then we will understand it fully now we have made a full video about micturition reflex if you properly want to understand this thing you can watch those videos but i am going to quickly summarize this thing so micturition reflex is basically a condition in which a uh, periodic contraction of the urinary bladder occur if this is a urinary bladder and it keeps on filling with the uh, urine then as the volume of urine in the bladder increases suppose for example this is the volume if the volume is increases increasing then the pressure in the bladder also keeps on increasing now this has been plotted with this in on this graph you see when the volume of the urine in the bladder increases this pressure in the bladder also keeps on increasing but there are two types of pressure one is this red color basal color uh, basal um, pressure which is basically the tone in the wall of urinary bladder which is basically increasing with the increasing amount of urine in the bladder so it is increasing with the volume but on top of this um, basal pressure acute periodic contraction of the urinary bladders are occurring at every level suppose for example these this is a contraction wave this is a contraction wave this is a contraction wave and these contraction waves occur for some time and then they disappear but the, the frequency and the intensity of these waves they keep on increasing they keep on increasing with the increasing volume suppose for example at 200 ml at this level the pressure will be at this much but if the micturition waves occur it the pressure will rise this much and it will come down then if the pressure uh, the volume increases to suppose for example the 400 the pressure will be at this level but if the wave occur the micturition contraction or micturition wave occur the pressure will suddenly increase to this level this level and then it will come down so these waves these contraction waves they occur due to the micturition reflex the, the micturition reflex is basically responsible for generating the micturition waves or micturition contraction and which basically lead to uh, periodic contraction periodic contraction of the urinary bladder periodic contraction of the urinary bladder is basically important for emptying of the uh, urinary bladder or urination process now how this micturition reflex starts so micturition reflex starts when urine is basically accumulating in the bladder this is the bladder and the urine is coming into the urinary bladder now this is this this is something which uh, i have uh, explained so many times in the last few lecture but is they are linked without understanding this thing you won't be able to understand automatic bladder so i am explaining it again and again is the urine starts entering the urinary bladder there are stretch receptor throughout the urinary bladder but specifically they are present at the posterior urethra when urine comes and touches that segment the sensory stretch receptor they gets activated they get stretched and they send signals to the spinal cord and this signal is sent to the sacral segment this sacral segment of the spinal cord and the micturition reflex is basically controlled at the spinal cord level but we have also discussed that there are some facilitative and some inhibitory center in the bones sorry in the pons and in the cerebral cortex of the brain so in the brain in at the level of pons and at the level of cerebral cortex there are some facilitative and some inhibitory centers which basically helps this sacral segment of the spinal cord to start or stop a micturition reflex but most of the time this level this area this sacral segment of the spinal cord is uh, sufficient to start and stop a micturition reflex now the brain only acts as a support so th the signals basically starts here they are carried to the sacral segment through the pelvic nerve then the sacral segment of the spinal cord send the motor signals to the urinary bladder and the urinary bladder basically starts contracting the urinary bladder starts contracting and the micturition reflex the micturition waves the micturition contraction starts if there is sufficient urine then urination will occur and if the urine volume is less this micturition reflex will stop the micturition contraction the micturition wave will disappear and as the volume of urine in the bladder increases it will start again now this thing is going on signals are sent to the spinal cord and spinal cord starts uh, send the motor signals through the same pelvic nerve and it starts contraction of the urinary bladder which basically pushes the uh, urine through the urethra outside the body now we have previously discussed that urine urination or micturition is also in our voluntary control through the uh, this through this uh, external sphincter now this is the external sphincter and this is basically innervated through the pudendal nerve which contains the somatic nerve fibers and these fibers basically they they are fibers which the human being can voluntarily control so urination is in the voluntary control up to some extent what happens is that 
if this area is damaged if this area is damaged the connection the connection of the uh, urinary bladder you know, the connection of the sacral segment of the spinal cord with the pons and cerebral cortex is lost the facilitative and the inhibitory signals which were coming down to the spinal cord from the brain now they are cut they are no more coming to the uh, sacral segment so this area become uh, like uh, automatic this area becomes sort of automatic and it it uh, basically starts the micturition reflex and stops it on its own without the help of without the help of brain but when the injury occurs when the injury occurs when the injury occurs there is a condition known as spinal shock now what happens is that as this area has been damaged and signals are not coming from the brain so this area is in a state of spinal shock it is unable to start a micturition reflex it is unable to start the micturition reflex because the helping signal from the brain are, are not coming so this area is in a condition of spinal shock but slowly and gradually slowly and gradually when the urinary bladder is uh, emptied through a catheterization this this sacral segment of the spinal cord slowly and gradually adopts that it starts micturition and stops the micturition without help of the brain without any helping hand of the brain now in this condition this sacral segment will start the periodic emptying of urinary bladder without the patient being aware of it and such a condition is known as automatic bladder so automatic bladder is a condition in which injury of the spinal cord occurs but the injury level is above the sp uh, sacral segment and as soon as the injury occur at that very moment the sacral segment is in the state of spinal shock it is unable to start any micturition reflex but as the time uh, passes and as the uh, bladder is emptied periodically with the help of uh, catheterization slowly and gradually the micturition reflex it starts again at this segment and this time it is without the help of brain and it is occurring automatically it will automatically and periodically start empty contraction and which will which will cause emptying of the urinary bladder and the patient won't be aware of that now sometimes when such a condition occur when automatic bladder occur some of the patients some of the patients will be able to start a reflex micturition they will be able to start micturition by scratching the genital area they will be able to start this reflex by scratching the genital area now that's all about the automatic bladder a condition in which injury of the spinal cord has occurred above the sacral segment and in which the micturition reflex is automatically occurring at the sacral uh, segment of the spinal cord and periodic emptying of the urinary bladder occurs without the patient being aware of that thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you.